President Biden praised the agreement in his most extensive remarks about the conflict since it began. I believe the Palestinians and Israelis equally deserve to live safely and securely and to enjoy equal measures of freedom, prosperity and democracy. My administration will continue our quiet, relentless diplomacy toward that end. Weijia Zhang joins us now from the White House. Weijia, how did the president handle his first foreign policy crisis? Oh, good morning, Anthony. President Biden said very little in public as the conflict was unfolding, focusing instead on what the White House called quiet, relentless diplomacy in private. Many Democrats were calling on the president to publicly support a ceasefire even earlier than he did. But a senior administration official told CBS News that Mr. Biden's experience during previous conflicts in the Middle East led him to deliberately take this behind the scenes approach and that he believed it's more effective to work that way instead of getting drawn into public political arguments. The formal statement from Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's office called the ceasefire an Egyptian initiative with no credit to the United States. Still, the administration had more than 80 talks with officials in the region, including six conversations between Mr. Biden and Netanyahu. The president said he sees a genuine opportunity to make progress toward peace in the Middle East and said he would work with Israel and the Palestinian Authority, though not Hamas, which the U.S. considers a terrorist organization. He also said he would help Israel replenish supplies for its Iron Dome, despite opposition from some Democrats over selling weapons to Israel. In fact, just yesterday, Senator Bernie Sanders offered a new resolution to block the administration's planned $735 million arms deal to Israel. He says that that could offer even more conflict. But the president has made clear that strengthening relationships with allies like Israel is a cornerstone of his foreign policy strategy. And in the next few days, his secretary of state will visit the Middle East. Gail? Weisha, thank you very much.